This video will show how to use VR2 with the Volvo Ocean Race game. I have VR2 already installed, so I will double click to start. This brings VR2. I will now open a desktop. Click File, Open Desktop. I have one already saved here, so I will choose it. The desktop has a vector chart, in this case the, the vector chart of the world. And this one has two marks, marking the beginning and the end of the leg. It can also save all your all your work with the i2 you you will insert routes tracks and marks and all those got uh, saved along with the the boat tracks in the the desktop file the desktop file contains every data the the, the game activity generates I will now use the zoom tool to enlarge a given area. I just click the center of the area. If you want to zoom out, you right click the mouse in the position, always in the center. You can also choose the hand tool to drag the chart around or you can use the keyboard arrows to do the same thing. Now let's load some wins. I'll just leave the mouse over the area of interest and press F2. This will download the wins. I'll repeat the procedure for a couple points to populate the working area with winds. Here we have the different forecasts available. We are now in the current wind. Then we have 12 hours, 24, 36 and so on. I will now open the properties pages and click the winds tab here we see the wind options the wind plot options you can plot arrows lines lines with speed speed polar charts lines with wind direction or nothing you can show or hide the wind re rectangles can change the size of the arrows and the transparency so you can see what is underneath or you can hide the wind grid altogether and now I'll open the boat attitude panel it is initially empty and I will now use the track designer. I will click the first position. Oh, you have first we have to zoom in a bit because to use the track designer you have to be able to click with precision. I'll click the first point of the track then I will choose the upper rectangle since the wind is much stronger as I move the mouse I can see in the boat attitude uh, how the boat is doing what is the speed in this particular point what is the wind angle and the recommended sail I'll click this point and then I'll just go 
east and you go on designing your track one rectangle at a time we see here in the over the the segment that I'm stretching there is a little circle this circle is the 12 hour wind shift it is where the winds uh, my boat will will be 12 hours in this track and so the winds will change I click right after it and then when I click you, you see that the winds change uh, we are now in the 12 hour forecast and you can go on designing the track you don't want to go maybe you want to go down a little bit and then uh, this is too close now I will go back I will press backspace and we'll keep in this upper rec rectangle for a while and we see if I press if I hold the ALT key pressed and swing the line the the wind ch wind change keeps imprinted in the chart so I can explore different uh, courses I will choose to go in this direction and then we are now in the 24 hour forecast have to scroll the chart a little bit and this is how you go on experimenting with different courses you can always backtrack if you don't like what you did you press backspace then you go back again now here we have a very weak wind I will go south a little bit let's see what is and then I will go using this rectangle here and this is how you design tracks in VR2. When you finish a track, you press the right mouse button and you give it a name. Let's call it track 1. OK. Now let's open the properties pages and select the tracks tab. This lists all tracks, not only the tracks that you have designed, but also the boat tracks, the actual boat tracks that you have uh, recorded uh, during the game. I will now click this, select the track one, and click this mark track button. We see now that a new track was generated with uh, the wind changes market in it. I could